The God of the Apocalypse never troubled me. The only thing I couldn't give up. Hi everyone, back with more Zenless Zone Zero. I actually start the main quest today, so let's get into it. Here, I forgot, that's why I wanted to do this. Okay, yeah, let's get the scratch card. Dang it. Alright, MP, what do you want? Good, you're here on time. As you see, a book of professional weapon maintenance is on sale at the newsstand. The prize draw ticket will be given with each purchase of the book, and there's a chance to win free weapon maintenance from the Tree Gates military pack. Getting this free weapon maintenance service could greatly benefit the cunning pair's future endeavors at the Hollows. The thing is, the book has a purchase limit, so each person can only buy one copy. I'll help you buy one. Thank you. Oh yeah, take 2,000 denims to buy the book. That's too much. Consider it a reward. The code says when you ask for help, it's customary to offer somebody to ensure a long-lasting partnership. She followed on her own words. I spent some time helping NP find the weapon maintenance book used for drawing. You also listen to NP give professional knowledge for weapon maintenance. You didn't expect she'd be a professional. That's about all this book talks about. Anyway, thanks for your help. Come see me if you have any help buying things with purchase limit. One then you is still here. I have a hundred battery. Hey man, you're good timing. There were a few guys who wanted to try and challenge me in Godfinger yesterday. Probably an account on account of my score and all, and you know what happened? You won. That's right, I beat them all, haha. -ha. I couldn't even believe it myself. Who knew I got, I got so skilled? Speaking of which, manager, how about we have a practice match today? Wanna play Snake Duel? Let's see whose team wins. Billy enthusiastically explains about needing to find the healing and dashes into the shop. <laughs> a lunch break and an arcade is the best pairing possible. Okay, Snake Duel Crash. Starlight Knight, several.
that silly. so well. God damn. Thanks for coming. Hope you had a wow, I lost again. I was, I was mentally prepared though. I guess I haven't been practicing enough. They're too good, manager. Alright. Uh, close you somewhere around. Nothing beats caffeine on a lazy afternoon. Want some? Not a must, but a calm and relaxed mindset sure is. Cheese from there is a cheese. Yep. Oh, you're here. I'm feeling great right now, like I'm about to get a limited edition. So let's make our first big call for the day. Which gacha machine do you want to try? The one on the left or the one on the right? Don't underestimate the power of your choice. Each of these machines can steer us in a different direction. Let's hope which one will guide our feet today. The one on the left or the one on the right? One on the left. Yeah, I agree too. I have a hunch the one on the left is gonna bring us better luck. Let's see what we'll get this time. This is. Oh, this is the one I wanted the most. The rarest one. It's already selling for 10 times its original price on the second hand market. Today is my lucky day. Kiki, this baby will surely fetch a high price online. So you're planning to sell it at a higher price? Oh, I might keep the less valuable ones, but this one is so profitable. It will feel like a waste of my good luck today if I don't sell it for a high price. Don't worry, once I've sold it, I'll give you a share. You play the gacha machine with Nicole. Nicole gets pretty lucky and wins quite a few rare ones. Alright, that's enough for today. A lady with impeccable self-control like you would never go too far. Let's play together again sometime. Okay. Then bends around. <laughs> Officer Mewmew, you caught a ton of bad proxies today, right? Officer Mewmew, why do you look a bit darker today? Uh, Officer Mewmew, you didn't get hurt catching bad guys today, did you? Pro Manager, quick, save me. What's going on, Ben? Uh, this kid seems to have me, have me mixed up with someone called Officer Mewmew. Mewmew, Mewmew, Mew Mew, Mew, fearless and brave. Mewmew, Mewmew, Mew Mew, the city you say. The kids seem to adore you. Are you friends with this guy? Uh, here's how it looks. Officer Mew is the mascot for our precinct and is one of the most popular figures for the kindergarten kids around. Today is the open day at the precinct, so we put on a special Officer Mew Mew's link for the kids, but the officer usually plays Officer Meow, who is sick today and isn't here. The kids were paying for Officer Mew Mew and making a real ruckus, and just as I was, and just as I was at my wit's end, that's when this friend of yours showed up. Then one of those kids, after shouting, Officer Mew Mew is here, and all the other kids just swarmed over. Is Officer Mew Mew the plump white cat on those roller posters? How does that look at all like me? Maybe it's the white part. Officer Mew Mew, have you been really busy lately? You lost a lot of weight since I saw you last. You must have put a lot into protecting your city, Officer Mew Mew. Something seems kind of funny about Officer Mew Mew. 
but you don't want to see the kids disappointed, sad, crying, dejected, or hurt, do you? I know this might sound a little unreasonable, but is there any chance you consider dressing up as Officer Boone for a while? I can be Officer Boone. I'm very moved by your dedication here, but I think it would be rather difficult for someone like the manager to play the role of Officer Boone. This officer, I can help play Officer Boone for a little while, but please don't make me dress up in that mascot suit. I'm really not the best at dealing with kids. Manager, would you please be my Officer Boone's assistant? I'm a pro at wrangling kids. Thank you so much, New Arugu really is a city jam-packed full of love. Alright kiddies, line up here, Officer Mimu's meeting is about to officially begin. With the hustle and bustle of excited noises, the kids all lined up, ready to ask Officer Mimu their questions. Officer Mimu, Officer Mimu, where the red proxies and hollow raiders hear their name, do they fall to their knees and beg for mercy? Sure, I'm already feeling we get it, Is that actually... Actually, well, not all proxies are bad. Lots are actually good people who can lead astray. If the kids don't study hard, then they can be bad eggs too, and then and they'll and they'll get caught by Officer Mimi too. When Officer Mimi catches me, will I get a new badge? I'm the officer. I'm asking Officer Mimi a question here. Please don't interrupt. Officer Mimi, how can I grow up to be as a public security officer who's as cool as you? Because I understand that. Being a public security officer isn't the only cool job out there. For example, in construction, that's another great choice for you. You could be an engineer researching intelligent machines, or a worker sweating hard on your job, or even part of the finance team crunching numbers upstairs in the office. As well as our public security officers, there's a whole team of people who protect every last brick and tile that's built up New Eric. So long as you hold on to the dream of becoming a cool grown-up, then you will definitely become someone just as cool as Officer Mew. Um, Officer Mew, please don't forget to promote our work here at the precinct. Of course, our public security officers sure are cool, right? That officer Mew Mew. Hey, enough questions over there. It's my turn now. Good afternoon, officer Mew Mew. My name is Angelica and, I, and, and I'm from the Sunflower class at the Janus Quarter Kindergarten. I wrote a, a, a song called Cool Officer Mew Mew. Can I sing it for you? So talented yet so young, truly amazing. Ah, uh, Officer Mimu, ah, uh, Officer Mimu, we all feel so safe with you. The people of New Era do salute you, salute you. What a dedicated fan. Such what a cute song, thank you so much, kid. Officer Mimu, yo, I mean, I love it. Hmm, let's hear it for cool Officer Mimu. But if you ask me, this Officer Mimu is not the real Officer Mimu at all. What? I just felt as though... Uh oh. Oops. Uh... Hmm. Tricking other kids is one thing, but you almost got me too. The costume, the voice, the fur color, any which way you look at it, Officer Mimu is different today. Tis, do you think I really didn't know that Officer Mimu isn't just a, really a cat here, but some officer in a cat costume? That's right, today's Officer Mimu has taken off his costume. It's off-duty Officer Mimu. Just like how work mommy and work daddy wear different clothes when they are off duty, mommy and off duty, off duty mommy and off duty daddy. Hmm, even though you took off your costume, you're still as kind and cute as ever. You're an amazing, Officer Mew Mew. Officer Mew Mew. Among all the shouts and laughs and hugs of the children, Big Ben Bigger spends the afternoon chattering away. I really put you two out today. I thought you'd just be absorbing a few other kids' attacks. I had no idea we hold you out for so long. At first I thought the kids were going to be hard to handle. But once I saw the smiles on all their faces, the time just seemed to fly straight by. Kids really like you, Ben. 
but if you totally burn out after entertaining all those kids, it's just like how counting is super fun, but accounting is really hard. Luckily, you were here. Otherwise, Officer Mimi might have died in the line of active duty today. Thank you so much for today, Officer Mimi's assistant. Low. Also, it's supposed to be doing gear and public security again. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go to the counter. So that and oh, that makes it so much easier. Holy shit! Okay, let me just clear all of these ones. Okay. Good event for remaining nine days. Oh shit. I'll check that out next time. Oh, it's not, okay, just in case it's a daily thing, I'll check it out. Okay, where is it? Turn on wood mill. Just in case it's a daily thing. Check out the changes in front of the store. So, Alright, if there's any other event. expanding our services at the store. Better check the device. This table, I was just about to tell you. A few customers told me their playback devices were broken and needed some repairs. They asked if we could help. I've seen tinkering with the team with a screwdriver before and probably I figured they probably learned a thing or two about repairs. How about helping our customers keep their playback devices? After all, improved playback devices means customers will come into the store more often. Of course, just think of it as random play special after sales service. While inspecting the toolbox with Weiss, a customer who seems to be in need of after-sales service appears. Excuse me, are you the video store manager? I wanted to watch the videos we recorded at the ballet class, and I just realized my playback device isn't working. Could you have a look at it for me? Leave it to me. Thank you so much. Ashi wants to find out what the white shadow was that was following her the other day. If we fix the playback device, we should find out soon enough. White shadow. Yeah, we went to the ballet twins together and the other day, she kept telling me there was a silvery white shadow right next to her. But I was sure we were the only ones there. Plus, I was wearing the same black outfit that day. Hang on. It's <coughs> very badly. But I was sure you were the only ones there. Plus, I was wearing the same black outfit that day. I'll go fix your playback device right now. Weiss brings over a book, a professional home appliance business handbook, and then disappears. The book is practically brand new. It doesn't even it doesn't seem as practical as a screwdriver. Alright. Farmira's playback device is here. Tuning. Does that mean calibrating all the signals? Let's start now. Oh, so I lost slowly over the days. Alright, well, I'll check out this event when everything's unlocked in... 4 days. Wait, no, why is this outside? Welcome home, Mel. I just got a DM from Naps. I was wanting to talk with you about it. They want us to take our citizen papers as soon as possible to the nearest precinct to update our business asset certification for the video store. Well, what do you think about, heading, about us heading over and taking care of it today? Let's go. 
you are about to enter immersive storytelling. Yep. Wait, my instinct alike. There's a message from public security reminding us to update the digital version of our business license ASAP. Bell, you didn't just toss that message into the spam folder, did you? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm just getting ready to go now. You coming? The nearest place is Lumina Square Precinct. If we leave now, we should make it before they close. Area unlocked. Public security Lumina branch. Accessible by car or public transport. Ooh, that was easy. I've been inside? Oh, that's cool. Also, holy shit. Uh, this game is going to get so expensive real quick because they keep every asset in the game. Check. I don't suppose yep I can't go back there. Ooh, I never expected to actually be able to visit it inside the station. Alright. Hi, E. Hello. Welcome to the Public Security's Lumina branch. Don't forget to take a number and line up. That's it. I don't think there's anyone else lined up except for you. Good. Simpson, how can I help you? Tell her about your business credentials issues. Hmm, so you're a shopkeeper and you're here to update your business credentials, are you? I see. Please show me your citizen verification profile and I can take a look through that for you. After receiving the profile, the young female officer begins to build the comfortable terminal with a certain flair. <laughs> Found it, New Aragu Janus Quarter in the 6th Street neighborhood. A comprehensive video rental and retail service store going by the name Random Play. Yep, that's the one. Stop by any time and we'll give you a discount. Ahaha, <laughs> thank you very much. You're not kidding, are you? Okay, then let's get down to business. Here's a new declaration form for you. Let's fill this out, answer a few questions about your business credentials, and that's it. Unless you have any questions, should we get straight into it? Ask about the tense atmosphere with the public security. <laughs> you mean all these prohibitively armed public security officers? Don't worry, they're just carrying out routine work. Ah, but that is one slight issue. Your work involves sending more bureaucratic personnel over, and your business credentials might take a couple of extra days to update. Let's go. I won't take up any more of your time. Let's get started. Oh wow, they even detailed the back area like this. Oh, hi team. Special episode, Undercover RM. Here you are. There's a new report out. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Please continue, Captain Zhu Yuan. Yes, sir. The target of our operation is the Mountain Lions. A militant group that believes in brutality and is known for its involvement in violent crimes. Their leader, Razor, has pulled together a fierce crew using his strength and wit. One of the new faces we should keep a close eye on is Jane. She's played a key role in several criminal activities recently, rapidly rising through the ranks in the gang. These are the targets for this combat operation. We're planning to send a small elite squad for a surgical strike against their core forces, with the goal of crippling the Mountain Lion Gang. Captain, I have a question. Go ahead. The Mountain Lions are strong because of their armed members, but even if they're dauntless criminals, at the end of the day, they're essentially just a bunch of bandits. Surely they can't outgun public security, right? Instead of just targeting their core forces, why not go a step further and take down their headquarters altogether? Well, because... We can't. At least not yet. You are correct, Officer Seth. They can call themselves the Mountain Lions, but in the eyes of the law, they're just alley cats with a bit more fluff. Nothing more. And certainly nothing to fear. 
The thing is, they're slippery. Slippery? That's right. These crooks managed to get away after every crime by entering a hollow and disappearing without a trace. A precinct has carried out several thorough raids, including systematic sweeps of the hollows they frequent. It's a real shame we couldn't find anything. Unless... Your report brings good news, Officer Ching Yi. Oh? Let me think. The report indicated that our intel officer has managed to detain a member of the Mountain Lion Gang at an old construction site in a hollow. Now would be an ideal chance for a surprise strike. I see. Our precinct has invested significant time and resources in preparing for this operation. Captain Julian, you know what this means. Yes, sir. I do. You'll be leading this operation. Remember, we cannot afford any failures. Is that clear? Crystal clear, sir. Codename? Operation Hooks. Let's prepare for combat! Oh, he didn't see me, not Seth. Ah, he's not easy. Spotted some mountain lion goons up ahead. Let's cuff them. I got this, Captain. Huh? Oh, Seth is playable. Oh, shit. How about you, Seth? Characters are fun to play. I might just make a pop sec team. Looks like we need a key card to access the third floor. Let's find it. Seth is not energy. Press special attack to gender. I'm not very sure how Seth works. Yes, Sing is very fun. Don't even try it. You're surrounded. Sing is way more fun than Sweet. I'm sorry. All units stay sharp. Interesting. I'll teach these youngsters a lesson. Sustain fire. What? Taking a shot. You may remain silent. Let's check your map. Find the key 
me. Face the consequences. Stop resisting. You're headed behind bars. Found it. Downloading access privileges now. Good work. Let's take the elevator. I don't know how to use Seth properly. She's the target we're after. Affirmative. We'll bring you to justice. How <laughs> oh, really? We'll see about that. <laughs> Think you can handle my trick? Oh, I seem to be winning, so You're yes. Holy shit, she's fast. Oh, that was cool. Really the best the mountain lions got? Why do you keep scurrying away like some rat? Where's your honor? Hey! Your fighting style is way too boring. All you do is come at me. It's seriously putting me to sleep. Listen up, you scumbag. I'm gonna beat you fair and square. I don't believe in resorting to cheap tricks. <laughs> oh, really? That's too bad. Cheap tricks are what I'm good at. I told you not to wander off. Look at us now. We're completely lost. Just get him! I smell 
etheric matter. Be careful. <laughs> These people are only gonna slow us down. Hubsack is on our tail. Don't make things difficult. Let's bail. Hold it! Who's there? Stay back! Let them go! They're not a part of this! Let them go, huh? You sure? If you take their place! Deal. He actually agreed? Keep alert. Captain Juju Ender, we found three civilians. They're all safe. The mountain lions are gone. They are slippery, just like Officer Byron said. Hold on. Where's Seth? Remember, I was sleeping for me. What? Yes, we apprehended all the gang members at the scene, except for Jane. However, two citizens and Officer Seth have gone missing. There are reports that they were captured by the gang. Several sleep inside, meeting with the Lumina Square precinct of public security. Uh, understood. Our team is ready and awaiting further orders. So, what's the plan? What happens to us now that we failed the operation? Hmm. You're turning pale, so I guess this must be it then. I'll box up my desk and return my gear. Oh, is it okay if I take my welcome mug? Huh? Uh, hold on, Jingyi. It's not like that. We haven't failed yet. Poor Juyun. You're in denial that you failed. The core gang members, including Jane, they all got away, remember? The operation was a flop. But hey, you tried your best. No, don't pat me. I, I, I'm fine. The operation wasn't a flop. I, I mean, not a total flop. We were at least half successful. <sighs> uh, I guess I should have filled you in right after the operation ended. You know how the mountain lions are really good at hiding, right? We can't root them out because they always manage to slip away in the hollows, making it hard for us to pin down their HQ. Right. They call themselves lions, but all they do is scamper around like rodents. From the looks of it, I think we should send them a rat to be their leader. Right! That's exactly it, Jingyi! You've got it all figured out! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I might not have it all figured out, but I'll gladly take the compliments. Uh, well, actually, the rat idea you just mentioned? That was our plan all along. Maybe we should send them a rat to be their leader? Something ID card from the table and hands it to Ting Yi. Jane's consultant ID card at the lower bench. A hot plastic ID card authorized by public security. There's an ID of photo, it's an ID photo of Jane which was an external staff consultant of criminal psychology. Huh? Jane Doe, contracted consultant for criminal behavior at public security. What? She's one of us? That's right. Jane's been working with us and she's our inside agent for this operation. She's the rat we sent in, the real bait. Oh. The purpose behind the whole operation was to put on a show, allowing Jane to gain enough trust to infiltrate the Mountain Lion's top ranks and learn the secrets of their HQ. That's a bold move. So in that sense, our operation was a success. And Seth, I thought he was too straightforward to play such cunning tricks. He really fooled me. I thought they had actually captured him. <laughs> <clears throat> huh? Not funny? What's with that look on your face? Remember when I said the operation was only half a success? Well, Seth, he's that other half. He and the civilians who were caught up in this, they were really captured by the mountain lions. Well, inside the belly, twins hollow. I can only open. 
open up if you get the secret knock right. I don't have all day. Is your first day on the job or something? Huh? So, we're in Ballet Twins Hollow? That's right. First time here, Jane? Makes sense. This transfer station is one of the closest to our base, the Lion's Den. By the rules, we're not supposed to come here without the boss's approval. You... Yeah. You... You need the boss's approval to be here. Oh, yeah? And who do you think you are around here? Maybe I should be asking you that question. Huh? The transfer station, the secret knock, all of them. The rules are made to be followed. So why did you break them? Oh, sir, I... Uh, we, we... We were ambushed by Pubsack. They were fast and precise. It all happened suddenly. Things got messy real quick. If we hadn't pulled out fast, some of us would have gotten busted. Yeah, boss. We even snagged an officer as a bonus. <laughs> Look! Did you pull this off? Um, it... It, it was Jane. Boss, Jane came through for us again today. She stole the officers with a smoke bomb, and we were able to get out of there safely. Bunch of despicable thugs! You have no honor! <laughs> It wasn't much of a fight. This idiot tried to play hero for some civilians. Like a mouse walking into a trap. Good work, Jane. When the time's right, we'll see if there's a spot for you as a trusted bodyguard. Whoa. Listen up! Those public security clowns are still after us. I'm gonna go find out what they're up to. Lay low here for now. <laughs> Boss. I'll arrange to get you back to the den safely in groups. You got this! Crystal clear, sir! Long live the lion! <laughs> Animated the rumored secret transfer station. This long time that Naps each spent planning wasn't all for nothing. They even managed to trick their own people into believing it was real. The only variable left unaccounted for is that officer, Seth. Isn't he new to their criminal investigation team? Does he even know all the ins and outs of their decoy plan? Why were they brought here though? Have they changed to a new protocol in uh, the precinct? Just to be safe, let's engage him before we take another step further. Unfortunately, uh, Story, okay. Let the jiggle. The jiggle jiggle. Yeah. Is he really this? Oil? Like, oil is the most horky. Restraint cuffs. Don't waste your energy. I injected you with muscle relaxants on the way over. You're lucky that you're even able to stand. Muscle relaxants? No wonder I feel so weak now. You'd sink so low as to use prohibited substances on innocent civilians? <laughs> hey, we've never done this to anybody else. Only you got the special treatment. 
What? Damn it! You dirty, sneaky rats! <laughs> it might be dirty to do this to ordinary people, but for someone who calls cuffs simple, it's a precaution. You? You obviously have the wits to match your skill. Why not keep on the straight and narrow? Why join a gang of violent thugs? Oh, you sound like you must know me pretty well. Of course I know you. I've read your entire dossier. Jane Doe, a new talent recruited by the Mountain Lion. You've rapidly risen through the ranks thanks to your sharp skills and quick mind. Now you're already a core member of the gang's bodyguards. Oh, and what's your point? At face value, most would think you're just another typical thug. Cunning, ruthless, deplorable, and cruel. But I can tell you're much more than that. <laughs> I know you must still have some virtues. Am I right? You're asking me? Let's assume that you do. Because I believe you do. And unlike the rest of the Mountain Lion Gang, you still have some goodness left in your heart. You do, right? <laughs> What I'm saying is, you still have a choice, Jane. You can turn over a new leaf. It's not too late. If you cooperate with me, you have my word that public security will give you a fair trial. They'll go easy on you if you change and help me. How's that sound? You're Seth, right? Mm hmm? Yeah, that's my name. So what about the deal I mentioned? Hey, you sitting there, the little lady. <laughs> yeah, you. What are you trying to hide there? Uh, I, I, I don't have anything. Make no mistake. The only hostage worth anything here is the officer. Nobody's gonna cry if you end up missing an arm or a leg. Tell me, what are you hiding? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hang on a minute, Jane. No need to get so worked up. They say it's the eyeballs of hollow victims that the rats go for first. And you've got beautiful eyes there, Missy. I'm sure they'll love the taste. I... I... I don't have anything. Really? This is the last time I'll ask. What are you hiding? Water! It's drinking water! We kept them from the trip over here! I told them to hide it! If there's a problem with that, then take it up with me! Sid reviews a small bottle from behind her, and even silence fills the makeshift Officer chill. Seth, you have an excellent aptitude for ether and outstanding fitness. Plus, you have many other virtues, like honesty, kindness, and determination. What are you trying to say? That you know me? No. I don't know you at all, but you're easy to read, and you've got all the stuff that bad guys love. Honesty, so you're a terrible liar. Kind-heartedness, so you're easily manipulated. And determination, so you never give in. I don't see any hope of us working together. Therefore, I strongly suggest that you be a good little hostage and don't try anything funny. After all... I am the only one here with some kindness left in my heart, right? Ugh, you? Hey, where's the guard? Come here. Uh, yes, Jane? D did you call me? Keep a close eye on them, and make sure they're treated according to the rules. Also, make sure you give our cop friends here three times as much water. And don't let the others drink anything until the cop finishes all his water first. What? You like water, don't you? Well, I'll make sure you drink enough of it then. Take the risk of telling him the decoy play with risk of losing everything if he lets the cat out of the bag. Unexpected trouble. I hope that a little intimidation can keep them alert and discreet. Whatever happens, I need to figure out the best way there first. The ultimate goal of investigating the Mountain Lion's lair won't change. Let's pass to the lowdown for henchmen in the transfer station for some people. How's it looking? Miss Jane, I'm fine. Uh, my back and legs aren't stiff and my corruption levels are still safe. 
I was getting antsy, so I dosed myself with some anti-corruption serum just in case. I was asking about the hostages, and you shouldn't be wasting any serum if your corruption levels are still low. Yeah, so sorry about that, machine. The, uh, the hostages are all good. I've been double dosing them with serum, so I guess I'll stop doing that. No, don't stop. They don't have on any protective gear, so they shouldn't be taking any corruption measures. So they should be taking any corruption measures. Sorry, any other problems? Not with the hostages, nah. Um, except for that one tier and officer who kept lecturing me like some kind of freaky teacher. But it's fine, one of the higher ups gave him a muscle relaxant so he can't break free. I can troll him as much as I want. I'm asking if you have any other real problems here. If you don't, then you should quit provoking the officer. Eh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's just the higher up guards, they always trash talk regarding hostages. You can get nasty. Don't force yourself to do things you uncut out for. Uh, how long have you been doing this? I've been on duty here at the transfer station this whole time. I only, but I only got my orders for it this morning, so that's about um, I guess half a day so far. I was asking about how long you've been in the mountain lion gang. Never mind, I'll just leave the hostages with you then. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Cool, I'll do my best, Miss Jane. Okay, special episode. Congratulations to you. For what? Why congratulations on your promotion of course? Didn't the boss man user himself say he wanted you as his personal bodyguard? I guess you really are the best. It's too early for any congratulations right now. He also said in due course. Hey, that's just a formality. It's just a matter of when, not it. Huh, I need to learn something. What's the word for it? Average James. I, I think you mean average Joe. Ah, yeah, that's it. That's the one. Once you're a bodyguard, this transfer station is not going to fall under your control. And then it will help us all revise our switch, right? Huh, how sweet of you. But if the bodyguards run the transfer station, who needs to retreat from here to the lion's den? Is that their job too? Uh, I don't know about any of that top secret stuff, but every time you retreat to the lion's den, it's always the big boss or his bodyguards who does through the hollow. I've been through this transfer station tons of times now. I see. Alright, you should rest for now. Okay. Don't touch it. Ah, what was that, Jean? Is your wrist sore? You probably heard it fighting the officers. Don't put any pressure on it. You tear a muscle. No, no way, I was just taking a tap. This... Ow, 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 jeez. Oh, do you believe me? I believe you. But what should I do, Jean? Ah, unfortunately, you're done for. Unless you are supplied the supply manifest for this transfer station, then I might be able to scrounge some medicine for you. Supply manifest coming right up. I'll go grab that for you right now. Ow, ow, ouch. After easily securing the supplies manifest from the gangsters, Jane is able to estimate the scope of this transfer station based on the amount of key supplies. We've stocked up quite a large supply of anti-corruption serum and protective equipment, enough to support plenty of people here for quite a while, but even got some everyday necessities. That means that this transfer station will play a far large more important role than I expected. Excellent. Uh, how's it looking, Jane? Any medicine in there that I can use? Here are these two. One's an ointment and the other is an orb. Rub the ointment where it hurts twice a day. Wait, what about the oral one? Do I take it before eating? No, that one's bubble gum. You just can get something to do so you don't scratch your wounds. Oh, oh, I get it. Thank you so much, Miss Jane. Jane walks over to a quiet corner and starts pondering the next steps in her plan. Okay, time to sort things out. There's too much going on. You gotta take things one step at a time. Hot supplies. When supplies manifest, you're able to tell that this transfer station has abundant supplies and a full complement of personnel. In other words, this should be one of the core hiding places for the mountain lions, or the transfer station. Based on what some of these gangsters said, they had to follow a concilius if they wanted to evacuate from the hollow or go to the lion's den. That makes it highly likely that this transfer station is the only way to get through to the lion's den. What the hostages? The guards watching over the hostages seem like machinery enemies. Should we use a few to scare them or trick them? Hmm, doesn't seem like it would be hard to bust through these guards and rescue the hostages. Phew, that's that. Time to reward myself with an energy bar. At least things don't seem too bad right now. The biggest wild card here was not knowing when Jesus was going to show up. I'd better find some more clues about the lion's den before he gets back, just to be safe. Get the hostages out of here as soon as possible. Let's explore the area around the transfer station first. Since this is the route, there's got to be some useful clues nearby. <clears throat> okay, it's getting close to the time where I might have to leave, so. I'm gonna leave for now and do a random pull quest and see if that helps. Intronaut. Why are you doing that? Special episode, cat and mouse game. 
that's all. There might actually be a shot in the back because there's only two push units. Okay, just think of it. Uh, Style the machine, yep. Okay.
can say this place has a pretty good collection of rare movies, so I thought I'd try my luck. I really need to get my hands on some more movies urgently. If you could help me, that would be awesome. I hope this might be a personal request, it's also for the association's benefit. Really personal request? You did your asking so nicely. Kid, have you ever thought about joining the HIA? It's really cool being a professional horror investigator. Wearing sharp uniforms and following all the mysteries inside the hall, you was getting official subsidies from the authorities in the city. The chance to be a star on one of our giant hostings. That's right, tons of kids like you can't even join the HIE to become investigators. But plenty of people fail to pass through the recruitment process. I mean, you can't get into a great school that's cramped school. You can't get a driver's license since driving school. But nobody cares about kids who can't pass an investigator test. That's where I saw an opportunity. The hollow cram school I set up since means I need to consult to graduate unemployment and see fresh talent to the HIE and help myself out financially. I'll mm, I can't sleep on it, it's too good. I don't want to sleep on it. What do you think? How about ditching the dying video rental business and becoming an up and coming investigator? Whoa, who said the industry is dying? It's Bell Hot. I don't know. But there's still a problem. She's cute at least. All the students signing up want to see real combat footage from inside the hollow. They're always watching whatever videos they can find online and help now some investigators and now some students are asking. Are you even a real investigator, or have you ever been inside a hollow? Hmm, investigators aren't just idiots fighting materials only. This class has to be the worst one I ever taught. Are you really an investigator though? Just look at this shiny investigator uniform. I'm the head lecturer at the hollow investigators. I'm the head lecturer at the hollow scram school and the bona fide battle test investigator for the HIE. I was strictly forbidden from filming inside the hollows or sharing the video or video, so I had to look at this for some unofficial hollow combat as a last resort. But the technical training course I teach really needs some first hand footage as TV material. Anyway, you give me a buzz if you're interested in my class. I want to find any of the footage I can make. The Hollow Cram School that helps people pass the investigator test sounds super sketchy. You forget the card he hands you and finally manage to shake off the shady investigator. The card means Mr. Mori, a former senior investigator and rookie investigator instructor, currently training at our Hollow Cram School, to become a Hollow expert in just 10 days. Moria seems to have hosted recruitment as well as Hollow Scram School on the day of October. Is this some kind of contract scheme? Hmm, maybe. Okay. Where's everyone else? Some games after a busy day. Why can I get smaller? What? That was weird. Is happening. What was happening? Why am I growing smaller every next number of seconds? Was it because I'm using boost? Oh, that's scary.
Thanks for coming. Hope you had a great time. you. some story as well. See you all next time.